I think we all know the importance of gratitude and having gratitude in your life and just being a grateful person. Uh, today I was driving and I heard on the radio and it was Daniel Post Senegs and he's on um, like the great great grandchild of Emily Post but he works and writes for the Emily Post Institute and he was talking about thank you cards and more important handwritten thank you cards. Um, I didn't really realize about thank you cards I'll say horribly until probably my wedding and I remember um, my stepmom going, okay, we're going to go. She said, we are writing your thank you cards today. She goes, this is all we're doing today. And we sat down and we had all the presents and like this filing thing, you know. And we sat down and she made me, and she, dare I say this, wrote, so she wrote the thank you cards to people I didn't really know because they wouldn't know my handwriting. And, and she had me write the personal ones. And she just like, it was a whole Saturday afternoon. I remember that because she's like, these will be done today, whether or not you like it. And that was kind of my first, but that made sense because I had these wedding presents and I had these, you know, gifts. And then um, my grandma, um, Rob's grandma, she would say when she would mail out a check for someone's wedding. She would then keep the invitation. Oh, this is on my grandma. She would keep the invitation tucked in her purse until that person sent a thank you card. And she just would comment over the years. I can't believe these people have not sent me a thank you card. I can't believe they haven't sent me a thank you card. And it just drove her nuts. So that was kind of like, <laughs> so I think of that whenever I get a present and I, I'm not the best I try to be. I love thank you cards. I, I love them so much. As a matter of fact, I if anybody knows me, I love stationery. And I have a whole bunch of different like thank you cards. I collect them. I go, I stop anywhere and I'll collect thank you cards. Like, like this thank you card I found, I love it. It says, you are so cute, I want to punch you in the face. So that's kind of a thank you card I would send. You know, or little notes of thanks. And I love, this was personal um, stationery that someone sent me with my name. And then this is like my perfect pad, you know, perfectly patty stationary. So I, I love stationary. And so I've been trying to be better about thank you cards. And I try to get my kids to do thank you cards, like at Christmas, especially, but I have found now that we don't live by people and I'm not going to wedding receptions. And as we are, you know, I'm, I'm mailing a lot more gifts. And I do wonder when we mail gifts, did they get it or didn't they get it? Did they, you know, I mail, I mailed cash or I mailed this or I, did they get that? Did they, you know, and, and if anything, not even so much being polite, but just <laughs> in showing gratitude, but just so that they know you got it. Because what if I spent all this money on a gift and you didn't get it? I want to track it down and find out why Amazon or why Target, why they didn't send it. Did someone else get it? And so if anything, sending a thank you card for wedding gifts, it's just so they know you received it. Like, you don't even be thankful. Just be like, hey, FYI, I got this. You know, one time we sent our son with cash and we're like, I wonder if that person ever got it or if my son get the cash. <laughs> you know, and so you, then you're like awkwardly calling the parents. Hey, by chance, do you know if they got this? I mean, I don't, you know, you're not looking for a thank you. But just out of common courtesy, letting people know. And it's, you know, but it's just so nice to get a handwritten card. A handwritten card just showing gratitude. Like, I love, I love those. I love getting things in the mail. My kids love getting things in the mail. Here, um, where we live in the area we live in, and we are not good at this, but we, the kids get thank you cards for their presents they give at parties. And I'm always like, oh my goodness. I mean, but they do. They get thank you cards and I should be better about that. But from, so um, what Daniel um, post sending said, he said there's five things in a thank you card. So we're going to put this up, these five things. Hopefully they'll put the five things that if you just, I don't even know how to write a thank you card. He's like, here's, keep it simple. First, address the person to whomever. You know, second, thank them for the item. Okay. Third, an original thought. And so when my kids, 
tell them like when they get money, tell them, thank you so much for this money. I can, I'm putting it towards this or I'm doing this or I'm saving it for college or I love what you sent me. It was perfect. You know, let them some, you know, thank them for the item, just something specific. So they know this isn't just a general thank you for the money, you know, just something specific. And then, um, the fourth thing, if there's a follow up, like, um, like, oh, I can't wait to see you this summer, or I can't wait for our families to meet up again, or um, I can't wait till the next party or the next wedding. You know, if there's a follow up, like if someone helped you out with the charity event, you know, I can't wait to work with you again next year. You know, a follow up, five repeat thanks, and then sign it. You know, you could say warm regards, sincerely, with love. You know, and you say your name, but that's just something easy, something easy you can do, stick it in the mail and send it. And it means so much. I, I've i saved over the years, I always save my thank you cards. I love them so much. I carry, in my scriptures, I got the sweetest, like just seeing the handwriting. And I've talked about this. I got the sweetest thank you card from my in-laws. And you know, something about seeing that handwriting, I know my parents' handwriting. I know grandma's handwriting, my grandparents. And something about seeing that, that my kids, they can keep this letter. I know it was from their grandparents to me. And so let's think about that. Try to, try to when, form the habit of expressing thank you. Form, if you can form the habit of your kids writing thank you cards, how great will that be? for them in their life because it's just people who have an attitude of gratitude are to, are happier. They just are. And a thank you card is a great way to do it. So hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully, like me, I'll try to do better. I'm not 100% great, but that we can do this together and just spread gratitude and love to everyone we see. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.